going on everybody? Emil here from Bullet Motorsports and today we have an insane 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. It's powered by a 5.2 liter supercharged V8 nicknamed Predator, produced 760 horsepower with 625 foot-pounds of torque and it has 1500 original miles. It's finished in Oxford white with black leather interior with white accents. If this is something you want to add to your garage, click the link below for a full gallery including underside shots and service records. Also, please like and subscribe so I can be putting my face on the screen. Let's get started. Let's get right to the exterior. 10 out of 10 on any given day on any judging scale. It's got 1,500 miles and it's been meticulously well kept. Body lines, gaps, panels, everything is perfect. Exactly how it's supposed to be. No damage to be shown in this vehicle. Tires have about 95% tread left on them. 305-30 Michelin P4S's in the front, 315-30's in the rear. It does have Brembo six pots in the front, which is wild and Brembo four pots in the rear. Did you know this is a 15 inch rotor? Felix's Honda Fit has 15 inch wheels, meaning that this rotor is the same size as the wheel on the Honda Fit outside. It's crazy. Getting right into the interior, there's nothing to say when it comes to imperfections because everything in here is basically factory. Carbon fiber inlays look great. Alcantara is immaculate throughout, including the seat centers and bolsters. Navigation, radio, aircon, everything works great. And the piece de resistance. Man, that sounds good. Looking under the hood, everything is just as proper as the rest of the vehicle. And we're looking at a hand-built 5.2 liter supercharged V8 that produces 760 horsepower and 625 foot-pounds of torque. And that's not the only thing that's a technological marvel in this vehicle because it's matted to a seven-speed Tremec dual clutch, a first for the Mustang. And that's not even mentioning the amount of carbon and composite used extensively throughout the vehicle to keep the weight down. This thing is just bat nuts. And I'm sure I'm just rambling on with a bunch of technical nonsense that doesn't matter unless we drive the car. So we're gonna go do that now. Drive. I hope you guys enjoyed the walk around with Emil. We're gonna take it for a test drive. But before we do that, I want you guys to click on the like and subscribe button. That's gonna give you more great content. Let's go for a ride now. All right, guys, we're going to take it for a quick spin on Marina Mile. Then we'll take it to our back road so you guys can see some beautiful artistic shots. This is going to be essentially a, a virtual test drive for you so you guys get to see how everything reacts. Right now it's in normal mode, so you have uh, several different modes you can select from, from even drag strip to sport to track. Uh, I'll probably put it in sport, and then I'll, I will also adjust the exhaust so that it's in a, a better tone because... I want to hear the GT500. I want to hear that 5.2 liter supercharged motor talk to me. And I want to hear the supercharger kind of whine, even though these are a lot quieter than the Eaton's. Um, but you can change that. If you put a uh, pulley on it, it makes it unbelievable. This only has about 1,100 miles on it. You do have the carbon package or carbon dash, Bang Olufsen stereo, and all documentation in regards to paperwork is included. So you have the mats. You still have the plastic on the factory mats in here. Um, you also have a GT500 car cover. Anything that was associated with the sale of this car is included. Um, it has not been tracked, it has not been raced. These are still the original tires. And the overall condition and comfort level of these Recaro seats, brand new, and they f I'm 205 pounds, I fit in here perfectly. So this is the third GT500 that I've had. I actually had a green one, I believe they called it Venom Green, and I did uh, pulley, and tune and exhaust and it was outrageous how they are stock in stock form is unbelievable but when you start to add modifications these things really shine the seven speed transmission it shifts on the fly it's gonna be faster than anybody could ever row uh, you can adjust the exhaust instantly i'm going to put it into sport mode as well just so we have a better tone i'll also put it in manual mode so that i can actually shift it myself Oh my God, sounds perfect. It's a real muscle car. And the best part, it's 96 degrees outside today. Extremely comfortable. Oh, it sounds good. 
We're gonna turn left here. We'll head back towards the office and let you decide if this is the right car for you. If you guys have any questions, give me a call at 954-363-2261. We pride ourselves on making this great content, so please be sure to like and subscribe because that's gonna give you more great cars just like this. We are in manual mode, which is what I wanted. First gear. Oh, second gear. It feels like you're taking off. You can bring this to SpaceX and start flying against planes if you want. The shifts are just, they're not violent. They are just perfect. It's bam, instant. And then you, the brakes are unbelievable. Obviously, I'm sure you guys have seen all of the reviews on these cars. These are bulletproof, uh, great transmission, great power plant and great looks. So if you guys are looking for a GT500, this is definitely it. We're gonna turn right here, go over some bumps so you guys can see how the suspension reacts. I'm gonna put it back into uh, normal mode so that you can see how the rebound is. So now we're in normal. Exhaust goes back to normal. So when you uh, filter through the actual settings for your modes, if you don't have it preset with keeping track mode exhaust on, it's not gonna do anything. So here come the bumps. It's very refined. So the suspension is, is a magnetic suspension. We're going over bumps right now. It's not floaty, it's perfect. Uh, originally when I rode this, I did this twice so we, guys, so we can get you guys some really good content. I had it in track mode. It feels like it's, on, it's, it's just perfectly planted. into these downshifts. Let's put it back into sport mode and I will also adjust the exhaust into the track setting and we'll give her a little second gear pull. Let you guys decide if this is what you like. It's perfect. I love it. It goes straight, suspension feels great. It's a much bigger car than the predecessor, but it, it just has so much more power. You have so much more tire. I don't think you can find a better bang for the buck in regards to power plant, looks, interior features. Tell me what else is out there. Woo! Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. See you later.